In the previous video, we discussed about the summary of digestion and absorption of carbohydrates, proteins and fats. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about carbohydrate digestion and its absorption. First of all, we see the major dietary carbohydrates available in the food. We see we have monosaccharides like glucose, galactose and fructose. These monosaccharides show direct absorption. That means we do not have any enzymatic digestion for monosaccharides since they are directly absorbed. Next is the disaccharides like sucrose and maltose. These disaccharides need digestion and are broken down into simpler ones like monosaccharides. Then we have oligosaccharides like maltodextrins which are again broken down into monosaccharides for absorption. And finally we have the polysaccharides like starch amylopectin which are broken into monosaccharides for absorption. Now getting to digestive enzymes and their sites. First we have the mouth, then stomach, then pancreas and then brush border enzymes. In mouth we have the slavery alpha amylase or simply slavery amylase. In stomach we do not have any kind of enzymes for carbohydrate digestion. Then pancreas secretes its enzymes into small intestine. And then within the small intestine we have brush border cells which have maltase, sucrase, lactase, isomaltase and dextrinase enzymes. Now we know the digestion starts from mouth and uh, it is the polysaccharide digestion which starts from the mouth. Then in stomach we do not have any kind of action on carbohydrates. Then in small intestine disaccharide digestion is mediated. Then we see these simpler form of carbohydrates reach small intestine which are further broken down into monosaccharides. Here in this diagram we have the blood capillary followed by enterocytes which has brush border morphology towards the lumen of intestine as shown in the diagram. Then we have small intestine lumen and at duodenum we have the pancreas secreting the pancreatic amylase into small intestine. Then we see we have the stomach and the mouth. Now let's start the digestion process first. The food reaches the mouth. It's masticated and mixed with slavery amylase. And in the food we have the carbohydrates in polysaccharide form like starch glycogen which is acted upon by slavery amylase and gets converted into oligosaccharides and maltose. And also we have the glucose in the food which doesn't need any kind of digestion and directly gets into small intestine from where it's transported into enterocytes via SGLT1 transporter as shown in the diagram. And then this glucose molecule enters the circulation via GLUT2 transporter protein. Furthermore, we see oligosaccharides and maltose reaches the small intestine for further digestion. These oligosaccharides like dextrin are converted into limit dextrin. And in the same way, we have the disaccharides formed in the small intestine like maltotriose, maltose, isomaltose, sucrose and lactose. All these disaccharides are acted upon by brush border enzymes. First of all, maltose is acted upon by maltase enzyme and gets converted into two molecules of glucose. Second is isomaltose is acted upon by isomaltase and gets converted into two molecules of glucose again. In the same way, sucrose is acted upon by sucrase and gets converted into one molecule of glucose and one molecule of fructose. Then lactose is acted upon by lactase enzyme and gets converted into glucose and galactose. And finally, limit dextrin is acted upon by dextrinase enzyme and gets converted into glucose, maltose and maltotriose. Now we see here three molecules are getting formed. Fructose, galactose and glucose. All the three are monosaccharide form, which can be absorbed now. And we know glucose gets absorbed by SGLT1 into enterocytes and then transported into circulation via GLUT2 transporter protein. And this route of absorption, that's why SGLT into enterocyte is also shown by galactose molecules as shown in the diagram. Then we have fructose molecules, which gets into enterocytes via GLUT5 transporter protein as shown in the diagram. And then into circulation via GLUT2 transporter protein. So this is how we get the digestion of carbohydrates and then absorption. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do come to support me, work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.